Now we'll work on the footer. So as you see from the final result and the wireframe, the footer is a little bit different than, than the other sections. So we have some sections and the width of the section one and section two, everything the same as the footer and same for the header. So all of this part have the same size, but for the footer is a little bit different. And let's just now move and write the HTML code for the footer. Okay, it will not be inside the main. So I'll just add a comment footer, then I'll add the footer tag line the footer tag and I will go for a class of main footer and this footer also use the section class even if it is not a section because I have a global style that's included in the section like margin and all of the stuff and it will be this is why I add the section right here and this main footer is specific for the footer tag if I want to just add any any style for the footer I will use this main footer instead of section let's just take a look here what do i have as an element but the problem the first problem that i need to deal with is this width and this is why i will create a wrapper and i will use the maximum width and i will go for container so that i can it will be a global wrapper if i want to use it anywhere i want and i will this is why you see me using a global name for that i use container and i will fix the width for a specific size and this is just for HTML. Let's just focus on the HTML. Then we'll move for CSS or to CSS. And what do I have here? Let's just go to the other elements. So I have a logo, and I have four other columns. So and the columns are the title and hyperlinks. For that, let's just keep it simple. So I will go for div footer topics, and this will be considered as the parent. This is where I will wrap the columns. And because I consider all of these elements as columns, this is the first one I have, second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. So I have four columns, and each column has its specific items. And for that, I will go for footer topics. This will be considered as the parent. And for the first children will be the logo. And the logo for sure will be a hyperlink. And within the logo, I have an image. I'll use the same one logo so that I use from the header. Okay, done. But for the hyperlink, I will use a class logo, the same one as at the header. And I will use a specific one for this footer logo. And this is why you see me using this name right here. So this one is global. So it will inherit, inherit the, the sign in from the logo style. And for the footer logo, if I want to just add anything, so I will use the footer logo instead of logo. Okay, now let's just move to the other to the other part. What do I have here? I have a title, then hyperlinks. The title, then some links. So for that, we'll keep it simple. And I'll go for a div, which will be considered as the footer topic. And because this is the children, and I think that I need, okay, footer topic. So just consider the children. This is considered as the parent. And once I use Flexbox, so I will manage that. Okay. What do I have within within this footer topic? A headline and menu. Just check that. Menu and some other links. Home, about, contact, courses, and block. Okay. First link. And I will go for home, but I need to add a class for this for this link right here. I will go for main footer, then link. Okay, good. Now let's just duplicate that. How many ones I have? One, two, three, four, five in the total. About contact courses and block. Okay. About contact. Courses and blog. Cool. So this is the first topic. Let's just go for topic one. Now I just need to copy the same code because so they are similar. They have the same style. Nothing changed from the first one or the second one. They have they are the same. All of these columns so will be used the same. <coughs> Sorry, this is why I will copy the same one. Okay, how many ones I have? Four. Okay, let's just copy that. 
topic one, and they will create multiple ones. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Categories help and follow. Categories help and follow. And I'll do the other things. Category one, two, three, and four. Category one, that. Category one, two, three, one, two, three, and four. Move this one, two, three, and four. And what do I have here? Term of use. Two. Term. Of use. Two. And privacy. Good. Let's remove this ones. And for the last one, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Instagram. Facebook. And Twitter. Twitter. Now, if we take a look right here, you see that everything is there. So the HTML code is there, but nothing is aligned. So I have the logo, I have the menu or the other columns. So I need to align that. And the first thing or the first problem that I need to solve is, is this problem of the footer to so the whole footer. So this footer should be, uh, should use a minimum of, will be aligned at the center, but I need to specify a minimum width for that. And this is why I will use the class container. Then this class container will have, so this is the container. If we check a look at the container, we'll see where is it. This is the container. I'll use 100% of the size. Then I'll use a maximum width. So that doesn't of 100. And I use, I'll use i use a maximum width of 1140 pixels. So this is the maximum. Cool, but everything is not aligned. Why? Because I need to use this margin left auto. Now, but I need also to use the margin right to avoid, to avoid the element to go at the edge. Okay, cool. Now, problem solved. The first problem is solved. Now I need to go to the footer and just add a margin at the top. So I will go for the footer. What did I name it? Main footer. Okay. Copy that. Main footer. Then I'll go for a margin. Top. Off. 120 pixels. Good. So the footer is aligned, but I have a problem of this, this columns right here. So this blocks should be horizontal. Uh, I should display them horizontally, but okay. This is why I will use flex box, but on this footer topic right here. So this footer topics right here, I should use display flex. So I will use display flex. Now the elements are aligned horizontally and the other interesting thing is I have some left space right here and this is why I would use justify content and space space around to distribute the space equally. Okay, I will go for justify content space around. Now everything is aligned and I think that we can go for that. Cool. Yeah. And as we see here, this is the logo. Everything is aligned. It is the same as it is the same as this one from the from the PNG or from the image. And you can tell that and you can tell that you finished the work. But there's are some other stuff that you need to add. Okay, let's just add the margin of for the footer links. Main footer link. Add the margin bottom between that. Between the links, I'll add margin bottom 
of 50 pixels good now i have some margins and i think that i also need to add in footer about the title where's the class that i'm using and you so let's just use a class of main footer title I want to keep it global. So okay, I will go. I'll keep it global, and they will go. And I use the main footer. Then it three, and they will go for a margin bottom of. Let's just go for ten pixels. Okay, I think this fifty pixels is large. Just keep it ten. Good, and this one will go for fifteen. No, it's good. And for the footer logo, I need, so I don't want, but there is something interesting here. So, so they have the same width or the flexibility is considered as the same. But for me personally, I want that this, this, this block right here or this element or this logo, it should have a width more than the other ones. And this is one why I will go for this footer logo. And I will specify the flex basis to be 20%. And 80% will be distributed for the other one. So, but this one will have 20% of the size. And as you see here, so hey, is more than the other ones. Okay, let's just see that in full size. And that's it. So we finished the theme. We start with the header, we go for the hero, and we will go for the feature with courses. And we end up with the footer, and we use all of what we learned. This is super simple. We don't use all of the properties, we use what we need. But what we need to just give us is the display flag, is justify content, and space between. These are the most used one. And we keep, we keep just tweaking in the code and we just get into the simple results by using display flex box. So there is multiple use cases of flex box. This is not the only one. But once you grasp the, the, the concept and you understand exactly so the main axis is and the cost axis is on how it's aligned, how the space of the distrib is distributed. Once you have an idea on all of that, so for sure you can convert any PhD or any sketch theme to, to HTML and CSS. But keep in mind, so the more the more you have an idea on how to structure the HTML, so the more the CSS will be super easy to create. Because I see people use CSS, but the HTML is not that well organized and they just, just keep hacking into the code. But HTML, when you structure your HTML in a more organized way, so for sure you will have you will have a better better understanding on how to style your your elements and how to style so the elements in general. So this was this was it. So you learned Flexbox from the beginning until the end, and we end up with this project. And I hope this I hope this journey will if it's useful. If you have any if you have any questions, so just keep me a comment in the just leave me a comment in the comment section and I will be happy to answer.